Hello YouTube, this is the third video in our Minesweeper tutorial um, series. We're going to be uh, detecting mouse events in this tutorial. Basically, um, there are two ways of doing that. One way is detecting a mouse click location on the page, and one is clicking is detecting a mouse click location within an element. Um, and it's way more complicated to do it with, within an element, so we're just going to align our our um, game with the top left corner so that we can do it on the page and then have our controls below it um, for simplicity's sake, basically. Uh, so to do that, we are going to add a style tag here. Say body margin zero, and then we're also going to move our controls div to below our canvas div. So now we can get the mouse position on the page. I don't know what just happened. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to start by creating a function, <coughs> or rather an event, window.onClick is going to be a function with an event, and we're going to handle that event. Um, we're going to get the position, so we're going to have an if statement. Uh, actually, we'll just do mouse x and var mouse y and we'll say mx is equal to e dot page x and my is equal to e dot page y we can check this is working by console dot logging mx plus very hard to read but you get the idea um, if we put a comma there it'd be much more readable all right so we can use that to tell where the user is clicking um, so we're gonna do a for loop actually we're gonna we're gonna use modulus to basically um, get the remainder of a here I'll show you um, so if mx here if the floor of mx divided by dot width is less than the number of columns and the floor of my divided by s dot height is less than the number of rows then we want to determine which box was clicked. So um, this will work because we'll divide MX. Um, for example, if we click in the first box, we can divide 44 by 30, and that will give us something like 1.5 around then, around there. Um, and 43 by 30. So we'll get 1.5 and 1.5, and then we'll take the floor value of each of those, which will give us 1. And we'll say this is 1, 1, and we'll say that's 0, 0. So 16 divided by 30 is going to be less than 1, so the floor value of it would be 0. 
15 divided by 30 is going to be less than 1, so the floor value of it would be 0 also. So that's how we're going to determine the coordinates of the box. Um, so we'll say um, clicked x is equal to So we will console.log each of these. To show you what the output looks like. So there we go. Now we have a. Uh, now we know which box is clicked when the user clicks. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video. And the next one will be actually doing something when the user clicks. We'll be we'll be starting to determine whether there was a mine in that box, and if not, how many were around it, and stuff like that. Um, but that's going to be spread out over a few videos because it's kind of a long process. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.